OK, so the vectors that we're going to be working with are mostly in three dimensions. OK, so drawing things in three dimensions can be quite tricky. So let's say we've got some axes. OK, so that would just be your general kind of uh, x, y axes, for example, um, if I was drawing in two dimensions. But in three dimensions, um, I could extend this kind of effectively through the board. Okay, And now I might say that actually this bottom face is like the floor, and this is a z-axis that rises up from the floor. So it would be kind of like the corner of the room. This is the floor. And that's the corner of the room, and that's the corner wall, OK? Corner of two walls. So if I said that we had some coordinates in three dimensions, so let's say we had the coordinate A, um, which was um, 2, 3, 4, for example, um, with respect to some origin, so the origin that we call this point here is O, which is 0, 0, 0. So we're going to be going 1, 2 along in the x direction, so that's your x value, then 3 along in the y direction, so 1, 2, 3, so be something like 1, 2, 3, so along there. And then 4 in the y direction. So we'd have 1, 2, 3, 4. So here we'd have 1, 2, 3, 4. So be up here. OK? So that might be my point. That could be point A. 2, 3, 4. OK? And what's happened is it's gone two along in the x direction, three along in the y direction, and then four along in the z direction. OK? So two along there, then three along there, and then four along there. OK? So like that. So it's a little bit wobbly. Let's try and make that a little bit straighter. OK. So that's where point A is. Now, all coordinates um, have a respective position vector. OK. So a position vector of A OK, so the position vector of A is an instruction. Effectively, all vectors are instructions, and I like to think of them as such. Um, it instructs you how to get from one point to another. So the position vector tells you how to get from the origin to the coordinates of A. OK, so it actually tells you the vector OA, how to get from O to A. So you have the coordinates of A, and then you have the position vector of A, which is this vector. And this vector is given by well, in order to get to A, I need to go two along the x-axis, three along the y-axis, and four up the z-axis. So it is a vector given by two, three, four. OK? So that is the vector that I'm looking for. Two, three, four. So coordinates are given horizontally like this, and vectors are given um, vertically like this. Each one corresponds, so that's your x value, y value, z value, OK? But um, effectively, this tells you where A is, and this tells you how to get to A from the origin, OK? So that's how 
position vectors work.